Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discuss how we can install the support for web applications in our Linux distribution and how we can install and use the web applications in our machine. So let's get started. To install the support for the web applications, you have to install this awesome application by the Linux Mint team, which is called the Web App Manager. I'm not sure if this is pre-installed with Linux Mint or not. I think it is, but I'm not sure. So you have to install this Web App Manager application. So the installation process in the Debian based distributions is quite similar to the Linux Mint one. Okay. And if you are using Arch based distribution, which I am currently using, I am using Cache OS, which is an Arch based distribution. So in that case, it is available inside of the Arch user repositories. Okay. So what we have to do, we have to install the YA package manager basically inside of the Arch system. And then what we can do, we can open up the terminal and we can do something like YA dash S and then web app manager, something like that. I have already done that. So what will happen when we run this command, it will ask for our password and then you have to enter that and then the web app manager will be installed. Okay. Into your machine. So after that, what you can do, you can search for the web apps. Okay. And here it is. So I will just open this one. So you will have this interface. So as you can see, there are some of the web apps which I have created previously. And in this video, I will create another one. Okay. So to create the web app, what you have to do, you have to just click on this plus and you have to give it a name. So I want to create the web app for GitHub. So I will name that GitHub. Okay. And then the description, and this is a thing which I'm not good at. So what I'll do, I will go to the github.com and I will open up the dev tools here, select the elements and here inside of this HTML, we will have the meta description somewhere. I'll just close this, close this and let me just find out that. So we have all of the links and so on. Mm -hmm. And let me just find description okay here it is so we have this description here so i'll just copy this description and i will go to my web apps manager and paste down that okay and then we want to add the address so i'll copy this github.com and then i will paste it down here and the icon pack which i am currently using picking up the github icon based on this particular url if it is not picking up the icon what you can do you can click on this and you can download the icon for your web application basically right and you can browse the whole file system for that and for example if i just go here inside of the downloads okay we have all of the images here. So you can just click on that and just select the image. But I will not do that here because I have the GitHub one, right? Selected. Okay, so I'll just close down here. And now we have the category, which is web. Okay. And then we have to select the browser. And here I recommend using a Chromium based browser. It is by default selecting Firefox, but what I'll do, I'll choose Brave. Okay. And then isolated profile. Okay. All right. And custom parameters. I don't have any right now. So I can just click on OK. So now we have this GitHub. Okay. So I can select that and open that from here, from this particular button, which is the launch button. And it will open the GitHub and you can just sign into GitHub as well. Okay. Or any other applications of your choice. So I'll just close it here 
and also if i just close down this one as well if i open up my application launcher as well and search for github okay here it is so we have the application icon here as well and by clicking on this we can open our web app as well so this is the web app creation process so here if i just click on sign in and this is the typical sign in process for your application basically you can choose any application of your choice okay so you can just sign in and use the web application normally so for example i have already signed in to notion so i'll just open notion okay and there is notion opened okay so here it is so i can use the notion uh, as much as i like okay then i have the notion calendar as well okay here it is so i can use the notion calendar so that is basically it for installing the web apps one thing to point out here i am using kde plasma and the icon for this particular application is default well and icon i'm not sure why it is but the application works right the icon is not working properly which uh, might be some type of a bother to you but it is not for me currently right now okay if i am able to find some sort of a solution for this particular bug then i will definitely update that inside of the description but currently right now i am not able to find anything okay so in this way we can install and use web applications in our machine basically inside of the linux and linux is awesome for that and also i just want to point out the web applications is gaining much more popularity because of the two new sort of a distribution basically the first one is omarchi okay so here it is and the second one is the beta version of zonin os 18 so okay and if you just go to that okay so if you just open this blog post as well and i'll just search for it so web apps okay so here inside of the zodin os as well you have the seamless integration with web apps so web apps are currently gaining much more popularity and it is very very uh, nice to use these web apps basically i think they are using the similar application which we are using i'm not totally sure but by the looks of it it is looking like the application which is the web app manager which we are currently using right now okay so yeah this is how we can install and use web applications in our linux distribution